All right, I'm back. And it's time to kick off this rejuvenation process. <laughs> Hello everyone, Canberra Run here. Welcome back to FM24 with the Eventus. So, I am finally done. I had a busy week of work, picked up some extra shifts. So we're back onto this and we're going to start the Serie A season against AS Roma. We've also got a game against Inter Milan. So, I'm going to head straight on into the fixture. We've got... <sighs> Christ, I'm not going to put it on balance. I don't like doing that. So, all of this, there's some new, new faces. Um, if you want to see me rebuild this, the Juventus squad... I'll check out the last video. It did get a little bit choked in the uh, algorithm, so feel free to check it out, and I'll explain why there's a bunch of new faces. Then some people leave, some people come in. But we're going to start off with a with a starting 11 of Trubin, Ryerson, Dispato, Harwood, Bellis, and Santos as well. Four. Unfortunately, Vitao is not quite fit yet, so Dispato's coming in for a start. Graben, Birch, and Lavia in the midfield. Illing, Mikasa, Henrique, and Sport of Lahovic up top. So the opposition instruction should be all well and good. Quickly do this. I'm hoping that we can get off to a good start, especially because Inter are the holders and we play them next. It might be a little bit difficult considering I've not played the game in fucking a week. Of course, I've not really touched it while I've been at work. Most of my days have just been at work on the nights and then sleeping during the day. So that's been fun. 17 might definitely get him to mark the striker then. There we go. So, I mean, I, I think we're pretty good as a team. So, we're going to head straight into it. We need a good result. I'd like to win the opener, but I'm not sure I can do that, considering this time has been. I know this game does tend to punish you if you stay away from it. All right. We are away. We're at the Stadio Olimpico, which is fun. Good pick up by Ravenbush there. But Petter was poor and it's going straight back to them. Uh, see, my concern, you see, that was so easy for them. And part of it is because of the fact that I've got a. I think Thiago Santos is 30 and Ryerson is 33. I've got two very, very old fullbacks. This is like my, my main concern for the team down the weak left side. They are not very good, but I couldn't really get any replacements. Because there's not a lot of money in Juve these days. Ooh, almost. Basically, one, one too many fucking times out of the Champions League has completely screwed them. So... Do have a corner though. Almost. Damn it. That was our first shot, mind. I throw in. Ooh, and Vlahavich opens his account with a thumping header. System Ryson as well. He makes it a little bit better. Yeah, the System Ryson. I was like, why isn't the thing going up? Because normally it pumps up the ratings. But, uh, all right, they've got a throw on their half of the pitch. Good inception from Milling Jr. Yeah, I feel like even though I, I did, I put mixed crosses on uh, working the ball into the box. Because most of what I want to do is to try and get balls onto Vlahovic's head. That's both my fullbacks fucking booked. Brilliant. <laughs> McAllister almost getting away with the ball there, but nice.
Well, that was a big load of nothing. <laughs> oh, that's why it Because they looked at the thing almost as if um, the ball went over the line. All right, that's fucking odd, but whatever. Ooh, almost from McAllister. He did the save. Well, we've had the better of the half, certainly. I mean, they've basically been unlucky. But it's a huge problem with, like, the age of my fullbacks and how fucking crap they've actually been. But I don't think I've got anyone else who can actually fucking play there. Corner to Roma. Just gonna head around and just go straight to Zamaski. Good catch. Alright, I'm gonna make my first change. Cass is looking a little bit leggy, so Isaac Lambert is going to come on. I'm not sure why Vlahovic was taking that, but it did get the deflection. Now we need, well, I mean, we really need Ovic to head it in. Doesn't even get close. I mean, we managed to get the ball back, but it just pointless. All right, Luis Enrique can have a little run here. Balls into Lambert, into Enrique. Ooh, Lavia with the shot. Saved. I mean, we're having the better of the chances. Probably means we'll concede soon. Um, <laughs> I'm going to chase off the ball that gets fucking nowhere. Tell you what we're gonna do. We are going to move Lavier up to the deep line play playmaker role. And we are going to bring on bring on Jack Moda. Oh, fuck it. Not to move him back. This is probably there's a ton of players who just cannot play the position. We're gonna put Gabriel Jesus on. There's like a ton of players who just can't play the positions they want to play. So it just gets a little bit frustrating. Game seems to be massively petering out, to be fair. Ooh! That was close. I think that was the chance. Are we going to get one more in the dying moments? No, we're not, because Motor is just going to fucking pass the ball straight backwards. Uh, that's annoying, because we were on top for most of the game, and we didn't really get the chances in. Blobic scored, which was good. Yeah, we just about edged it. We uh, really should have taken some chances better. I'm a little bit concerned over the fullback. I might try and bring somebody in on loan, at least for a left back. So I don't have to play Ryerson a lot. But uh, we're just going to push on to the next game against Inter Milan. All right. Oh, Cristani. All right. What? Oh, shit. Well, we're not going in with a full subs bench then. Cool. So, this is the like We're basically going to keep the same lineup for. Uh, Inter as we did for Roma, Brain. So, Tribune, Rice, and, well, no, Vita comes in from uh, Disparto. Howard Bellis, Santos, Lavia, Gravenberg, Ilang, McAllister, Lewis, Enrique, Blahovic. So, yeah, he's going to have to endure. 
So, uh, yeah, Inter's team is very, very good. I'll show you when the match actually comes up. I'll show you what the fucking uh, lineups, team sheets. Yeah, um, they've got the likes of Desasi, Badawi, Fratesi, Barella, Tadolf, Kunda Palestri, and Mikhail Modric, and Lotaro Lotar Martinez is still up front. I think I've got that, don't I? All right. I'm not going to enjoy this. I think Inter are basically the strongest team in the division. Oy. That almost scored within like 37 seconds. Brilliant. We do have a chance ourselves. Oh, for and then Henrique takes a very heavy touch. Fantastic. Uh Ooh, oh! Holy f Nico Barella getting set. <laughs> right, when I went to Inter on FM22 from coming from Werder Bremen, Barella was like literally listed as having a really angry personality. He's just fucking lived up to that. He's been set off inside like nine minutes. Right, lads, we've got to fucking win this. Thank you. Beat out scores. Nice, lad. On in return after injury. Fuck, we've got to win this game now. That is hilarious. Barella just destroyed, tries to uh, delete Luis Enrique's knees and gets sent off. <laughs> Gave him the old knee deleter. All right, nice. They've also just basically lost, like, one of their best central midfielders. So, fuck them. Uh, that's a little bit shit from... Uh, Whoever the fuck that was, I can't read the fucking thing. Sun's in my eyes. Uh, yeah, we've got to we've got to win this game. That, that's fucking actually hilarious. Yeah, they have no midfield control now because they've just lost. Um, ooh, almost. Do they? Oh no, yeah, they take on Mudrick and put on somebody else. That, that's fucking hilarious. They got put. They got Palestria. All right, one change. Yeah, that's fine then. So it's marking for Kuno Palestria the striker. What about the put Palestria for Rolando Martinez? Oh, well, whatever. Yeah, the problem is Illing Jr. is coming in from the left-hand side that he was never going to make it. It's really odd that I thought it would. Oh, no, it's five minutes. After five fucking minutes, they've just... Oh, no, Vito... Oh, shit, Vito gets a second. <coughs> that's uh, that's the central defender scoring two goals on a on a comeback. Nice. Fucking Christ, ten, five minutes. I'm not, I'm not getting over that easily. Five minutes into the fucking game, Brella just goes two-footed in on Luis Enrique, tries to annihilate him and just gets red-carded. And that makes it happen. And that's not offside. Well, no, he's not offside because he's a, within line with the defenders. And that's Vlahovic getting a goal. Nice. We're 3-0 up inside 40 minutes because they've just... <laughs> oh, and I was worried. I was worried about this game up until the red card. But, uh, yeah, that's uh, all very well and good. All right. Now, I know Luis Enrique can play both sides, so we're going to switch him on the wings so I can give Illing a rest. Uh, Monten My new signing, Montanari, can come in, finally. He was the guy. Yeah, he's the guy that I signed from fucking Calgary. I've got to make sure... There's a lot of new-gen Italians on this team, and I need to make sure which one's which. 
So, Montanari can come in because it seems like a good fucking game to bring him on because we're 3-0 up. And it all seems good. Sparta has just been killed there and nobody's going to do anything. Now that Ryerson can actually, he can play right back better than he can play wing. Yeah. So what we're going to do is we're going to set them back slightly. Right. Oh, it's Dizabato. I think that's how you say it. I think I think Luis Enrique Rocha just shot there. Called that shit a day. Right. So, on Lambert. I can play advanced playmaker, you'll be fine. Uh, Locatelli can come on. He can. We'll just stick him at defensive midfielder. Support, and then Moda can come on. There we go. We should be all right here. Oh, they got Raspadori as well. Yeah, they got like Evan and Dicker, Vanderson, Raspadori. They've uh, they've got quite a stacked squad actually. It doesn't work when you're playing with ten from about you know eighty five minutes in. That's a little bit of a waste. I think we're just kind of taking the piss now. Look at that, 15, sixteen to five. They've had one shot. That sending off has absolutely killed them. Yeah. <laughs> uh, see the title events is going well. Two goals from Vital, one goal from Vlahovic. A very good start. Um... How do I only have 39% possession? Fuck me. Yeah. That's annoying. Santos got murked and nobody cares. So, that was good. So, that leave, what does that leave us on the table? Third. Nice. Ah, hell's runner are doing well. Uh, we just call it final minimum. I will show you the league phase at some point. Um, when are we going to come back? So I'm going to play through Ampoli, Atlanta, Brianza, Bologna, Salernitana. And then we'll come back for Pisa and Lazio at the beginning of October. That'll also be when the... Uh, when the Europa League kicks in. And if we get a good... like, I will show you the league phase draw. And then we'll see when we're going to come back for the... Um, fucking Europa League in episode 4. Anyway, if you've enjoyed this, feel free to leave a like. If you want to see more, you can always subscribe. I've been Canberra Run, and thank you for watching. We got fucking Manchester City in their Europa League. For fuck's sake.